Ross up internet, how are we doing today? Uh, thank you for joining me, Mark Stokes, again with another Microsoft 365 Message Center update. Uh, quick update for you today. Uh, basically, we're going to be talking about uh, Microsoft are introducing a registration page for Microsoft Teams meetings. So what does that mean for you? Just bring up the Message Center item. Um, so basically, uh, Microsoft bringing in the ability for meeting organizers to create a custom registration page for Teams meetings. Now, primarily this is designed for webinars, but it can be used for any, um, any team meeting uh, that people want. Uh, it's available in uh, Teams desktop app for Windows and Mac and also Teams on the web. Uh, this rollout should uh, start early March and should be completed by early April. So we should be seeing this coming into the tenants very, very soon. Uh, so I'm just going to read a few bits of information out for you. Uh, so by default, this new, if, this new meeting registration function will be available to all tenant users. So when a meeting organizer uses the custom registration option, those who are invited receive an email with the registration link. Now recurring and channel meetings do not currently support registration functionality. By default, the registration page will be accessible only to those from the same tenant. But meeting organizers who want to schedule a public webinar, which allows anyone to register, will need to contact an admin. This waiver is specific to the meeting organizer, not the meeting. In other words, once the meeting organizers uh, can use the registration page for a public meeting, they will have that permission until it has been revoked. The meeting organizer can set up a registration page from the meeting scheduling form, and the organizer will then customize and save the registration page in a pop-up window. Uh, the organizer can monitor registration activity via the registration report download that is provided in the meetings details tab uh, pre, during or post meeting. Uh, so what you need to do to repair, uh, prepare, uh, so access and determine the proper settings for your tenant. Uh, Microsoft meeting organizer access to the registration function uh, whether this registration page is available only to internal attendees. Uh, so there is a policy allow meeting registration uh, parameter and that will be enabled by default. That could be enabled or disabled. And the policy who can register parameter is everyone in your organization by default. Or, uh, so it could be everyone or everyone in your organization. But the default is everyone in your organization. So again, if you want to do a public webinar, you need to change that policy to say everyone uh, rather than everyone in your organization. Okay, so this is a user level policy uh, that can be assigned to specific user or group. So if you do want to have uh, people organizing external webinars, uh, then you need to assign those organizers to have that ability. So you can let everyone in the business just allow them to create registration for internal meetings and then only certain people uh, for external. So if we go into the message center, you'll find all the information here and um, you can scroll down through it and everything I've just shared with you um, is there. So that's all we have to share today. Hopefully that's uh, of interest to you. And um, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.